Shipwreck 6 4. Mario, a game that spooks you. Nope, not here, not here, not here. Nope, 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 nope. Not here, not here, idiot. Fuck you, bitch. A game that's uh not even a game. Hogwarts Games was originally an idea. Reef. I don't want to read all of this. Okay, a game that is just so lit. Two weak noses on my desk. My fire alarm went off. My fire alarm just went off. Yeah, I gotta go fix this. I I'm gonna go save my dog. I'll be right back. Okay, so we uh, called the firefighters, so I could just game here. Out of all the swap I play on a daily basis, Shipwreck 64 stands out that it is one of the only games where I really felt scared. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really get scared from these horror games anymore. Ah! So the fact that Shipwreck 64 did that in an incredible way as well is beyond impressive. I just want to throw my hat in the ring as one of the people who really, 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 really enjoyed this experience. It's short, those creative jump scares oh. not shown in other video games. Showcases brilliant writing and believable world building, which basically means mascot horror dude isn't just cursed. I do think there's a dead person in there though. Damn it. Did I mention the game is made by an 18 year old who one day just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this game throughout high school. I think this will be my favorite horror game this year, if not for a while. If you're watching this video and you haven't played or heard or seen anything of the game, sorry intro, I urge you all to play it. I made the mistake of watching the surface level bits of the game. Everything up to this point, I pretty much knew about and regret it once completing the experience. But hey, if you're a Weenie Hut Jr. like me or already beat it and want to see an idiot figure out some of the best puzzles I think I've done in gaming. No way, is that actually the solution? And the best scares. Oh shit. Get fucked. Then come along on the ride. I guess. So please click subscribe. I'm trying to get more dopamine into my brain and the digital counter really is doing it for me. Listen, I had so many moments when editing this video where I was actually scared to go to bed and just kept my lights on. I <laughs> This is a scary game. I don't find most of these. Please play. Uh, yeah, this week hasn't been the greatest. Oh. <laughs> Like this kind of a vibe. I'll leave you guys on the title screen since it's pretty vibey. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What the fuck? What? I just come back and see a blonde guy on my screen. Oh, they like press A. That's, I didn't even plug in my controller. Like a blonde guy that looked like Owen from Total Drama Island. Settings, bonuses. Should I go in the settings? The open doors. Watch the clip. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, did something happen? <laughs> This is when I walked in, like, right? Oh, it's not going to show. I walked in when I saw the blonde guy, and then I unmuted my mic. All right. Quirky. Sure. Okay, dude. Fucking whatever. What is this? Make your choice. Online play? Opens the door for a special friend. Wait, that's pretty sick. Wait, yeah. Bring the special friend in. <laughs> bring him in. Bring him in. The more the merrier. What if I like meet up with someone? What is this about? I might as well go through all the doors. Thumbstick turning or auto turning? Thumbstick. I'm on my Xbox controller. All right, let's, ru let's run this shit. 
X. A, X, X, A. All right. So this was the menu. Swag. Make your choice. Okay, so I'll tell you what I know going into this game and what I don't know. What I do know about this game is that it recreates like an ARG. If you don't know what an ARG means, it's like a funny thing. It's like it's like a game inside of a game type deal where it's like, oh, the game's bad. I think this is that type of game. Uh, I do. I've seen everything in the 2023 version. Basically, what you have to do is you play the 2023 version. It's like good. Nothing's wrong. And then you go to this part of the game, which is like some type of 90s version of the game, the original version and then you play it and that's like the bad one so that's all i really know i'll tell you if anything comes up that i already know or maybe i'll like be quiet i'll do the thing and then i'll say oh by the way i already knew what happened like i knew to do that but yeah from what i know you just beat the 2023 version and then you get into the actual part of the game hey, oh fuck i need your help Step into the street and run with Bucky and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Breaking my dogs out. Imagine your toes just fucking wiggling. Hello. Welcome to Shipwreck 64. Hello, player. Shipwreck 64 was meant to release in 1997, but was pulled after three days for reasons we now know. Oh, geez, Rick. You've been working on trying to restore the game. This is the closest possible thing to a finished copy. Oh, Jesus. We were able to transfer most of the games to new software, but had to fill in some gaps ourselves. I don't know. This version of the game is mostly clean. Cool. Thanks for letting us know. This is going to be a spooky one. I could feel. I hope it's spooky. Just being real. I hope it's spooky. It's been a while since I've played a game where it's like I've actually been scared. Unless it's like a jump scare, right? Because those can get me. But let's see if it's actually good. I heard good things about it. That's all I'll say. Oh, hi. My prayers have been answered. Listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends and I crashed my boat. It was awful. My friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad. <laughs> you could help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. All right, it's weird. You have to click X to like move through stuff. Hey there, post editing happy here. I edited down the 2023 version, but I think it's kind of redundant because in the next game, you kind of end up doing the same exact thing. So I'll just tell you and we can just kind of move through the swap. Um, before we get to the good part, we're just we're just giving to the good part. Um, you collect coconuts with a girl named Olivia. That was super fun. Uh, you turn off ovens for a, a, a goose guy. Uh, you talk to this chief wolf dude. He's like, oh, I, I hope you save our people. And then he's like, oh, and then you also see like this little bunny um, behind the jail cell. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's another game. Yeah, there's the game with the, the walrus. You have to do some hardcore parkour with the walrus. That's really exciting. That one really, you know, tickled my toes. But apart from that, I mean, I might be missing another mini game. Oh, no. Yeah, there's the, the like one where you're in the forest and you're trying to escape a guy. But instead, you're just grabbing parts. It's it's weird. It's weird. Uh, but nothing scary happens in this version. I, I knew that going into it. So I'm just skipping this and we're just going to go the the good stuff, right? All right, uh, that's all. Bye. This is where the actual scary part comes in. And I'll tell you right now, I know what to do at the start. Um, I'll give you a hint. It says think outside the box. We're basically going to do the exact same thing we did last time, but fail the mini games. There we go. We're good. All right. Here we go. Everyone put on your two pairs of pants. <sighs> You're going to piss yourself. Hey, everyone. I need your help. So 
what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! I'm back. Information on this game has been very sparse since its soft launch in 1997. This game would not work on any emulators. Hydrate up, bitch. After some tinkering, we built our own for this game. This game was developed by Cogware Games. Two X devs helped us create this version of the game. The game may have some glitches or artifacts. It is not for the faint of heart. This is exactly how we found the game unaltered. Why? Thank you. All right, let's go fuck up some mini games where it gets really spooky. Hopefully Wolf won't spoil anything. Yeah, hopefully not. All right, let's uh, let's use, let's see this guy first, I guess. Wait, who did we do first last time? The coconut mini game? Fuck it, let's do the walrus one. Oh, and don't move if it gets dark. It's uh, hard to explain. Do your best. All right, we're gonna fuck up some mini games, boys. Cannonball. Oh, I think I have to wait for the... I have to move when it goes dark, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do that. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh no! We moved! Those hooks are sharp, huh? Remember, don't move if it's dark. Rooting for you. No! Those hooks are sharp, huh? Bad weather wound you up here too, hmm? Are you paying attention? Hello? You're just skipping past all of these, aren't you? You're as inconsiderate as I remember. He's a little pissy wissy, since I don't want to read his dumb text. Get fucked, nerd. Oh! Feels like a scary face right there. Oh, on to the next one. Where's Coconut Girl? I thought she was like right here. Where's this take me? Oh. Okay. I think I have to see the spooky thing. What does this take me? <laughs> Town hall. Oh yeah, I have to do the other. I have to do the wolf guy mission. I wonder if the bunny's still here. Oh yeah, he is. All right, I have to do this dude's mission. I know where your boat is. Uh, okay, cool. Press the Z button. All right, we'll I have to fail this mini game, I guess. Uh, guys? Hey, Bucky. 
What are you doing here? Answers, isn't it? You want answers? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's nothing for you here. I'd feel bad if you left empty-handed, so I'll give you a little treat. Check it out in someone else's level. I'm busy though, so please leave me be. What about the computer? <laughs> Is the... Oh! I can talk to him now. He's Tumblr. Thank you. Wait, let's finish his mini game. Okay, buddy, you go gather some paint. Now we'll get right to drawing. He has voice acting. I have ink. How much ink do you need? All right, well, I think I got all the ink jars. I don't know what I do. I'm going to keep it real. Oh, maybe not back here. Oh, shit. You dropped your painting thing? Okay, I got you. Here you go. I mean, I collected all the ink. Did I open the door? Oh, shit. What if I fell, f fell off? What if I jumped off? Do it? YOLO? Oh, fuck. He dropped his painting. I heard it. Let's go see what happens when the time runs out. Such a cute little guy. Okay. <laughs> it's done. Done. Sick. I helped him paint. Thank you, Bucky. Okay. Where's the coconut girl? There's coconut girl. Okay, I'll... Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Coconut time. And you know what that means? Hey! Watch it! Hey! Watch it! Hey! Watch it! Hey! Watch it! Huh? What'd I do? The label says Olivia's last phone call. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. He showed up at the door again. I don't know. Trying to find a good angle. Something about us and the. just felt wrong. Deathman33103 has done their daily cult check-in. Pog champion. The cult check-in weirdly went with the game there. Uh, hey Deathman. <laughs> Jump scare happens. Deathman has done his daily cult check-in. <laughs> Let's get some more friends tomorrow. Good night, buddy. All right, wait, let me hit the woman. Uh, spooky part coming up if you guys want to watch it. Well, I'm back. Uh, guys, why is Olivia in the water with a red trail? That's not very Pog. That's me. Come back, me. All right, time to do the last spooky minigame fail. What does this one say? Oh, yeah, it's some weirdo text. All right, this is where my guy is. Everyone, if you're wearing two pairs of pants, uh, well, yeah, just wear two pairs of pants. Thanks. Okay. Got a little bit of a movie going on here. Look at that. That's us. It's, uh, Freddy. Freddy and gang. Freddy Fazbear. Nice. Looks cool. Sick movie. All right. Fun. Let's fail this guy's mini game. 
Okay, so I have to fail this minigame three times. Oh, wait, why can't I talk to him? Oh. Well, that just happened. Oh, interesting. Only the cameraman survived. Let me fail your mini game one more time, Mr. Man. Can you do? Can I just enter now? Oh shit. What's up my G? It's Golden Fredbear. Coconut? Of course, it's all making sense now. Coconut. Coconut. Oh my god, it's all making sense. The, pe the puzzle pieces are being puzzled correctly together. Can I get up there? I think I can. How do you get up there? There you go. I'm in the red room. This is for VIPs only. This is for people who give two subs or more. Oh, I know this part, by the way. <laughs> I know what to do here. Um, like an art exhibit with uh, that guy. You know, you know this guy. You know this guy from all the games. You know, this is the dude. This is the man. I still remember the number and the color. So red equals eight. Blue is fucking move three. Where's green? Tell me if you guys see a number for green. Oh. That was easy. Nine. <laughs> Had to use my fucking observation skills. All right. Green equals nine. Of course, I'm writing this down. I'm not going to remember this ever. 69. Holy shit. What if that's the code? Okay. What is this? Red, blue, blue, green. Okay. Uh, eight. Where's penguin paintings? Wait, what was it? Red, blue, blue, green. Three, three, nine. I did it. That's just red. So it's just the red number, I guess. 888. Oh, I'm so smart. Until eventually, he was approached by a company who offered him the deal of a lifetime. Oh, guys. The popularity of Bucky not only. Yeah, she's yapping. I don't care. Hopefully, that wasn't something important. Ah, museum, you I see. I love me a good museum. What do you have to say? A waffle tail? That's rude. Did my Xbox controller just disconnect? Destruction. This cartoon had Bucky working on a dam. This didn't go well, however. What? Yeah, what indeed? Oh, Steamboat Willie. Alright, well that was a whole load of nothing. Oh. Who knows what that did? Oh. Okay. Safe. Oh wait, I didn't open this door. What's in here? Green. Nope. Wait, 
wait, that place looked nice. That place looked like heaven. Paradise, if you will. Nah, fam. Not for me. I'm Bucky Beaver. King of Beaver land. Beaver place. Maybe it was this. Oh yeah, this is it. Oh, this guy's angry. Womp womp. Where are we? I don't know, man. It smells atrocious. We should weave. We should save. Yeah, we should. We don't gotta walk back. You could just open the menu and hit respawn. And we'll be on our merry way. Nuh-uh. It says the dinner. Or the diner. Huh? Guys, that's me. You can tell it's me by the way I am. Look. Look at how I walk. Look at how I talk. That's me. I'm the guy. Also, don't know what this green thing did. Do I just press them all? Oh, 15? Oh, wait. Is it a timer? Wait, what the fuck? All right, they're all on. What does this mean? Four, nine, two, three. Is that what it is that what I need? 4923? Then it's fine, I guess. Can you please listen to me? Oh, wait, 4923. My friends are in danger, and you think now's a good time to explore this dump? Hit the respawn button. Use your damn head, idiot. Dude, why is he being mean to me? 4923. Oh, there we go. Okay. What does this do? Oh shit! As soon as I clicked that, look what it opened up. That's kind of pog. I like when games do this. I like when they go 4D on me. Unreal Engine is the same program used to create a shooter game by the Nate game Unreal. It was licensed to us by Epic Games. <laughs> Wait, Epic Games was around at this time? What happens if I click this? New adventure awaits. Hey, everyone, I need your help. Step into the 3D realm with Bucky and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! Woohoo! Uh, little rabbits. What happens if you click this? Oh, this is like a fucking scary video. Uh, I just don't want to read all this. That A was something, so. Oh, you can even, there's even like a song. Okay, wait, let's watch this. That's it? I don't think I've ever met a man as pathetic as you. All right, well, <laughs> that's just not nice. That's just mean. That was just wasn't needed. Let's keep her moving. It's a note from Cogware. You really want to go down there. Uh, well, then feel free. Just be warned. Okay. Everything up to this point i pretty much knew about this is where i left my youtube video okay so like once he went down those stairs i don't know anything that's gonna happen now are we on the same page yes yes okay cool what's it say hangman brandon could be brandon brayden Braydon. no brayden is spelled with an e is it not that looks like a brandon to me yeah, Brandon, why not? Stop. Raspberry, stop now. Okay. I will continue. Uh, none of this is making any sense. Yay. Oh, shit. I want to go back to the island. I want to go back home. Is that not what you were playing? Look. We could do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I queer? 
Good. All right, what does this say? Pick job. Right, whatever that means. Oh, wait, did I not read the sign? It says extra job, 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 job. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, it's like a spookier version. Open up. Let me just thought. What the? <laughs> hey, yo, I didn't actually know this was going to happen. All right. Well, I guess we'll go through the door. They're lying. Go sleepies. Go in here. To the door. What's up here, though? Follow. Okay. Look me in the eye and tell me. That's how my gamer brain works. Oh, geez, Rick. Oh, what do you know? Uh, growing up, because I'm probably not going to read most of this. Here's Chief Wolf. Dedicated his entire life to helping his fellow wolves who live on Nola Terra. Responsible for the capture of Bucky, Walter, Olive, and Giovanni. Who's Olive? Bucky's the... The beaver. Walter's the walrus. Oh, Olive is the coconut girl. I'm guessing Giovanni is the duck. Maybe. I don't know. And now you're in layer three, the land of darkness. That's okay, though. If you come properly prepared, you should be equipped but to either venture even further or keep yourself safe. To open the gate, to the move to the next zone, locate and charge the computers to three out of three. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it on. Okay, a little bit of a fetch quest. Dwellers. Oh, these are the spooky guys. Dweller may follow you around in layer three. That doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Stay alert. You may not be as safe as you think. If a barrel or any objects appear to be off or moving, repeatedly hit it until it vanishes. Are you paused right now? Nope. They wouldn't dump this much information on me, though, and not be like, yeah, by the way, the killer monsters are there right now. <laughs> 7418 is the jail code. Gushabudabudaba. Just kidding. Beaver Scratch is a language that is used by many, many folks who reside down here in layer three. Okay, I guess this is what all the gibberish was about. So I guess it just moves either one up or one down. The language. It, maybe it just gets to pick. Maybe it just picks. Maybe, maybe it just fucking... You know what? I'm going to go either to up one or down one. It just... That's, that's just the thing, I guess. This one went down. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, so this should be E, O. So they go into pairs and then they switch. That's what Beaver Scratch is from what I could tell. Because there's 26. So the, the first two would just switch and then it would just continue. I understand. All right. We got that figured out. We still have three more things to go. Cypher guide. What is this about? Did it open a tab? I wanted to leave a guide here that helps you translate non-Beaver Scratch codes. For the sake of making this easier to digest, I'm giving them fun names. So here you are. Shakespeare Cypher. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's read this. Everyone fucking take out your nerd glasses. Okay, we have to get the Shakespeare sign. <laughs> and count the times a word begins with the letter. For instance, APFT would be our combination. Let's look for... All right, so we got Shakespeare. <laughs> fucking ciphers. Write it into the notebook. Uh, I'll keep this tab open just in case I forget. Mozart cipher. Hopefully we have a trained ear. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you can't forget about the Picasso cipher. Okay, I already know. Red means eight. Yeah, okay, I already figured that out. Um, All right, bye. What are you for? Just get it at the back half of the plaza. Look for it. You'll find it eventually. Just got to get it unlocked using these two simple, simple tasks. Uh, task one. Task two. I will open that later. And I'll put my steps here too. And let's fucking crack on, I guess. Off we go. Not by going right. Look at this. Golden Freddy. Who are you? I don't know, man. I'm just a guy. I need a code there? What? Oh, it's a code. Wait, I know this. Eight three eight eight three nine eight eight three eight three eight three eight three eight. I know what it is. Eight three eight nine. 
Okay, here's this must be the tape player. Devlog. Devlog. Me. Mar. Mark. Dev. Devlog. Mark. Souls into it, but is that even enough? His standards must be set astronomically high. Plus, after the, you know, the thing I found, I just gotta be honest. I feel so much less safe around that man. I don't know what the dude's yapping about. Okay. <laughs> Alright, dude. I have one of three, apparently. Golden Freddy again. There's all these, like, buckets around here, but I haven't found anyone. Oh, maybe I save here. I don't see any crystals. I have to find the crystals, don't I? It's like a mystery. <laughs> I feel like fucking Scooby-Doo right now. This, there could be crystals here. I'm here. Oh, do I just jump it? Oh, look, it's a mirror. I Red. Got a little tape recorder. <laughs> fucking hell. The lady... Okay, is that devlog again? Dev... Oh no, it does start devlog random. Okay. All right. Today is August 12th, 1996. They're very far for sure. All right, see ya. Ooh, spooky. You still need a code. Yeah, I don't know where I get the code. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna jump in here. Here I go. Couldn't imagine like a monster following me through this while I'm like fucking using my monkey brain just to trying to comprehend what's going on. Wait, is that a flashing color? Green? Oh, whatever. Code is EFG9. EFG9? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> Can I is do they take letters now? Maybe G means green, but I don't know what E and F would mean. Oh maybe you beaver scratch that shit. E F G9. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Maybe hardcore parkour up for the fans. Gate control. Womp womp. Alright, well, I'll go check out the other door then in the middle area. See if my puzzle brain skills can figure this one out. Oh, this place is nice. We got a purple. We got a green. We got a save. Got computer. We got a green button. Live, laugh, love. Oh my god, no way he put this in the game. Screenshot moment. Everyone say cheese. Oh, wrong button. Go back to EFG9 and play the recording. Doesn't sound like much of a hint. <laughs> oh, maybe it's the letter shit. Okay, we're looking for letters with E, F, and G. How do I play it again? I thought I already played this one. I must have just not. Dude, it's music. I have to do the Mozart cipher shit. This is a song I know. It's a Christmas song, right? What is the song? I need to like look up the sheet music. Oh to joy? Wait, that actually sounds weirdly right. Oh yeah, it totally is. So this is... Dude, you can barely even count the E's. Okay, I have to count all the E's, all the F's, and all the G's. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. 13, 14, 15. So how was your day? 15. Wait. <laughs> it's a four digit code and I put 15. So we would have five numbers. Okay, it has to cut off at some point. But I just don't know when this cuts off. I'm not good with music. I, I'm going to be honest. I think we just brute force this shit. <laughs> My brain is not able to count that quick. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so it's just the first two. Let's count the E's. Nine. Done. Count the F's. One, two. Yeah, I got nine, four, four, nine. If this is it, I'm going to be so shocked. <laughs> and 
this is one of three. <laughs> that was a satisfying puzzle, though. I'm not going to lie. But what if I didn't know it was Ode to the Joy? What if Caddy wasn't here? How would I know that's Ode to the Joy then? I would have never had a clue. I'm just being real. Oh, guys, look at this. Dracula and... Uh, the engine shit. Spooky. Middle school music teacher would be so proud. Yeah, dude. Fucking linker the VOD. <laughs> I still don't know the code to this, though. I thought that was the extent of my brain power. Oh, is there a code back? Oh, my God. Oh. Shit. Oh, my God. I just found a three-minute video. Is it supposed to be in this weird aspect ratio? Not Gary. Oh, do you think this is another puzzle shit? Oh wait, why is it? Is it? Is it supposed to be like this? Yeah, this is literally how he made it. Okay, causes of death. This is probably the other puzzle to get the other code. All right, any second now, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! Get fucked. Inch was found at the bottom of the lake, right outside the cabins at Broadside Beach Staff Headquarters. They were located to be to be waterlogged. It looked like something out of a horror movie, said Hillary Stocks. The cabin male trails of blood all the way from the window of Olivia's cabin at the lake which she was found. Are these like the deaths? Are these his kills? Oh, we're definitely not going to be able to see this one. Ah, uh, yep. There has to be at least one bajillion Gary Wilsons. Ah, oh, come on. Dude, I wish it... Well, I can't read any of this. Oh, here we go. Maybe I could kind of distinguish this. What, what, what does this one say? Filing cover? Fucking, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna skip. Oh my god. I'm so glad I skipped because I would have gotten jump scared by this fuck. Oh, this fuck would have jump scared me so good. Oh, get absolutely destroyed. You're lucky my patience is so low. All right, well, I, there's a jump scare coming. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't even a jump scare, bro. I thought because I skipped to the part where the camera did the thing and I was like, oh, it's screaming. That's how my brain worked. Well, that was interesting. I don't know what I got from that. I'm going to be honest. Dude, what is this code? Let me listen to this again. I'm just going to listen in Harry's case there's been something. At his workstation all day playing through. Well, he's been stuck on all of his levels. The coconut one. Apparently, there's been an issue with the chest spawning in. They just appear... Oh my god. ...random, which is already bad. But then they... Where's my achievements? ...when you're not sure. It's <sighs> very confusing. I'll figure it out soon. Most of changes if this works, I'm gonna be fucking... So we can I'm the most insane gamer. Okay, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. 4742? Yeah, okay, I'm trying it. it. Usual. Now, on my end, not too much. I'm just chipping away no at the way. bug map right now. The is that actually the solution? Until we can think of a cooler name for it. But yeah. Because he talked That's about coconuts right now, and there was a code in the achievement. They're very fun for sure. Collect all, all right, coconuts for all of Is there any other codes that I need to know of? That is crazy. I, I honestly don't know how I was supposed to get that. I would have looked I was I was I was about to look it up too. I just remember, like, seeing the numbers at the end of one of the achievements. So where do I go? I think I clicked all the buttons, right? Three of three. We did it. All right. So we did the left one. 
Maze or computer room? Oh, let's do the maze or the computer room. I don't want to do a maze. Time to puzzle up, boys. That could be a code. A little bit of a 1112, maybe? Live off love. Wait. Okay, I thought it was like open. Do I click X on the computers? Oh, maybe it's the color code shit. How would I know what order it goes in? I could still count them, I guess. If I could find like a color. Oh wait, is this has this door always been here? Oh. Month skip a good gus bump pump. And oh nine ten eight one? Okay. I guess I'll just put the code in now. Or I explore that area. It was 9281, right? There it is. Let's go. Another one. Alright. What does this one says? Bujigujibajiba. Fucking hell. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a long one. A affer is it affirmation? No shot. Oh my god, it is affirmation. S. Yeah, it's affirm is it shuns? Affirmations one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna sound like uh, like a madman recording one of these things. You know, I I I, I just kind of need to feel like um, I'm talking to someone. I'm just starting to wonder how much I got left. Harley's still in the hospital, and until she's out, I'm sitting in this office. It's it's big, it's cozy, yet it feels so empty. I, you know what? It, it doesn't matter. Just, uh, just, just remember your affirmations, and you'll be fine. <laughs> She's coping with affirmations. But oh, wait, quick, check the affirmations achievement. Uh, all right, no affirmations achievement. I don't even know what to do at this point. I guess I just go through that door. All right, I found it. You guys see that? That's the walrus. He's bad now. Look, he's he's evil. Evil walrus. Grr. Okay, buddy. I'll be on my merry way. You take care now. Oh, the grate opened. Yoink. I did it. That's Nathan. Stop backseating. But maybe it is. Or maybe you're just saying that and you don't know. But no backseat. Oh, wait, you can't even go up now. All right, here I come. Who's Nathan? <laughs> Fuck if I know. All right, I guess we've entered the back rooms. Got a button here. Oh shit, it opened a browser. All right, we'll just watch this, I guess. And we'll continue on with our exhilarating gameplay. Whoa. Halfway one. Looks like a map. That's the plaza. Sick. What does that say? Like an arrow? Pointing to something? I'll take a look at that later. A little prison cell. Oh, this must have been the prison cell they were talking about when um you get captured by the bad guys, the gurs, the bad dudes. Okie dokie. What was this all about? A note from Cogware. This wasn't the original image, it was a copy from the golden computer. How do you turn this on though? I can't turn it on. Oh, you have to power this, don't you? Okay, well, I'll power it later. Code is D E C D. All right, noted. And I see that little fucking music symbol. So once we hear a song, <laughs> I'm going to need like a, a Shazam artist on standby. Oh. 
What is all these creepy sounds? It's a note from Cogware 12. The fact these images are photocopied, to me at least, means that people shared images of dead people. Oh, and you want to know what those? I don't know, man. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm scared to come out. I still hear the fucker. He's back. Does he know I'm here? Did I just take the, the death and see what happens? Do it for science. All right, everyone, two pairs of pants on. Here I come. <laughs> I get to do it on my own terms. You're the bane of my existence, friend. Like, really, really? You got us thrown in a cell. What is wrong with you? Either we use the respawn button and go home, or you find a way to break us out. I'm not using my buck teeth to chew through bars, so don't ask about that. All right, that's fine. I know the code. All right, what was the code? Let it be known, friend. I hate you, genuinely. <laughs> Remember when I asked you to take me home? Yeah, that, whatever happened to that. Why am I even calling you that? You're not my friend. I don't even know you. Just keep going. I don't care anymore. What do you say? Do I analyze the map or do I just kind of explore? I need to figure out how these enemies work. Bucky entering his emo face. Yeah, dude, he's fucking baby raging over here. Let's go down here. Oh wait, let's see what this is about. Log two. I just looked at the numbers. Fuck! Our entire brand's been going down the drain. The stocks, I've never seen stocks get this fucking low. And we're still bringing people on. We're still expanding. Yeah, at this point, what the fuck's a layoff gonna do? It'll sink us further into the shit! Okay, um, you, know, you know, the, 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 the best option. I, I think the best option we've got, I, I've been... Uh, it's been going in my head for like the past five fucking hours now. The best option we got is to cut the game studio we've hired. Okay, you know, we've been basically dumping money into their pockets and, and, and I, I don't know what exactly they're making. I haven't heard from them in months. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I just realized I, I'm throwing the exact same amount of money I'm paying for Harley's medical bills into this fucking game studio! Okay. And you know what? Um, I'll figure it out. Let's click the screen button. And now you're in layer three, the land of darkness. That's okay though. If you come properly prepared, you should be equipped to even venture further. To open the gates to the next zone, locate and charge three get the computers to three or three. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it on. Okay, I don't know where any of that is. I'm just being real. I don't know how to turn on these golden ones. I don't know how to do anything. I don't want to stay here anymore, man. It's scary. See, fuck. Okay, wait. Into the barrel. I decided that for a good chunk of the fourth layer of skin to the game, I wanted to add a bit of my own. Flair. Seeing what was corrupted by corporate suit and tied fuckwits. Mark Mall. Someone's not a happy camper. Fuck this, I'm not leaving. I'm staying in my barrel. I feel safe here. Fuck you guys if you think I'm playing with a pussy. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm scared. Also, this might be like the bad guy. Like, maybe when we hear this sound, this could be the bad guy. Does that mean I should test it by moving now? Okay, what is this sound? I'm- I'm leaving. Oh, I got scared by my own fucking jump. Oh, fuck! The fuck is that on the left side? Later, nerd. Fuck you, pussy. Come out. The fuck away, give me the fuck away. I'm I'm leaving. Bye. 
I fucking hate this. I hate this. I hate when there's like a random bad guy and then you just have to run around. Fuck, we need to find something that plays music. Alright, well, I guess I'll just explore some more then. <gasps> I found the crystals! <laughs> Workstation code. Hello, future stumbler. Uh, I have the code. Going forward, if you ever need to turn on the workstations, the code is 1997. Here, what all went wrong. All right, that's all. Toodles. You look great today, by the way. <laughs> Step one told us to play with the diamonds, I guess. I don't know how that works. What if I put 1997 in the code here? I can't. Have I been here before? Four yellow. Is that another code shit? And six purple? Let me write it down, I guess. Oh, wait, there's a volume thingy. Wait, what is this? Popsigenous. What does popsigenous mean? O. O. P. T. I. M. I. S. T. Oh, optimist. Sorry, tricky word. Liz here again. I'm writing for yellow and purple right now. six. The quality of my situation sunk in for me. Like, that's the CEO of Broadside Animation Studios. I think we'll all be enjoying our time on Easy Street once we've shown Mark the game. That's all. Toodles. Damn. There's nothing I hate more than big area. <laughs> big area with people chasing. Oh, I think I saw something right there. No, I'm good. Oh, I got something. Oh, found something. Those last four notes especially are nice. I think it's one of those where I just count the number. Do you think I just use Mary had a little lamb? Then what the fuck is the point of the green and everything? Because why would the color be there? You know? How many times does each color flash? Yeah, I think that should be my first priority. Eight, nine, ten. Ten for blue. Why would it be ten? It ha would have to be a single number. I think yellow just happens twice, but I'll double check. Bing, bing. Just two, right? It says 11 seconds, though. Do you start at 11 seconds? I think we should recount and start at 11. Because look, as soon as I click the button, by the way, it took me to the 11 second mark. So maybe it just starts at 11 seconds. I don't know. And then it says those last four notes are especially nice. I don't know what that means. I'll, I'll just have two. I'll just have them both. I'll have them both just in case. Because I don't want to fucking go back to this. I just want to be done with this. <laughs> four, five. Let me figure out the color for the last four notes. Blue, red, blue, green. All right. I think we have all the information we need from this shitty video. <laughs> Get me out of here. I don't even want to read this again. Fucking printed cutout email. Hey Liz, I saw your crystal video. It's cool to see those in action. Oh, wait. Those last four notes are kind of nostalgic to me. Wait, I'm going to use the colors. Eight. Three. Nine. I'm so fucking smart. Pretty fast bear. <laughs> I still can't activate these golden computers did you miss me okay that's a code <laughs> it's a small notebook uh did you miss me so yellow is for it would be four nine four six three nine all right we have another code for wherever we want to use it four six three nine Uh oh the fucking dudes here. Run, Forrest, run. Where is he? You know what? He could always be on the other side. Uh guys? Don't check this barrel. That's right. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, buddy. Keep it moving.
that one go to seven? No. Oh, he's right there. Is he stuck? Right. I'm not here. 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 I'm getting fucking puppy guarded. <laughs> if she's puppy guarding, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Okay, no, she is rock walking away. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, well, I know where to put a code. Yeah, this is it. All right, we have the code 4639. Let's see if that works. Damn it. Maybe I could try 1997. Still not right. Maybe I could try the blue, red, blue, green code. Fuck. Okay, I have to do the music cipher. Assume this is what we have to work with here. So D, E, C, D, two, three, four, five. It would be five, five, two, five. Oh, beautiful. The tricky one. I don't know where I wrote D, E, C, D from, but I did. And it was in my notes somewhere. I must have gotten it along the road. And I just, I did that and I took the song from 11 seconds count. And then that was it somehow. Okay, I'm gonna click this button. Turn on all workstations. Oh, God damn it. 1997, right? I'm big. So what I'm doing right now is I'm speeding through this pretty tedious part of the game. You have 10 minutes to go around this map and put in a code of 1997. It's a pretty much like 20 computers that you just, they're just everywhere. Um, also, the monsters are trying to eat you this entire time, so it kind of sucks. Um, by this point of the game, I have like a good mental map of where these computers are, so I got it first try. I did cheat at the end, though, so maybe I didn't have a mental map. I cheated at the end, though. Like, you'll you'll see when I cut it out. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out. I'll, I'll point it out when I cheated. A lot of people quit the game at this part, which I'm not surprised with. If you're focused on being scared, you're not really having a mental map or where you are or where all these computers are, and I think it could be pretty frustrating on the player. I don't think it's a good part of the game. I don't think it's a bad part of the game. Cooler things later in the game, though. More war, more spooks, more beaver jogging at a nice pace. It's fine. Okay, that's all. I'm going to beat it now. Where's the exit? Oh, shit. Can we stop it for a second? Just need to relax. You can check out the door when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, now I run to exit. It was this one, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Why is it locked? I did everything you told me to do. Battery zero fucking hell. Okay, it's another one of these stupid things. You thought you were done, idiot, stupid idiot? Think again. Wait, maybe the guide. Oh wait, let me get in a barrel. Gate open, here's what you gotta do. Find the batteries, look for glowing green batteries. There'll be one in the office, one in the rooftops, and one in the cave. Oh, okay, well that makes things fucking easy. Hopefully the bad guys are now gone and I can just kind of vibe for a little bit. I did it. Oh. Olivia Gary Dinkin. I'm pink. I think the computer's done. 
Let's put some kind of file somewhere. Look around, and then we can go to the gate. Alright. It's somewhere here. Uh, maybe it's... Not on my desktop? Browse local files. Is this what you do? Oh, shit. This is the game files, is it not? Look, I shouldn't look at that. <laughs> Real talk. Clever.txt. Look at you. Clever, clever. But it says I am to say this is not where I'm hiding the game's secret. They are elsewhere. I like your line of thinking, but you're off by a wide margin. That's funny. I don't know where this folder is. Worst comes to worst, we'll look up a guide to figure out where the folder is. I don't know where that folder is. Oh, fuck. Really? You spat me back out? Maybe the exit's open now. There it is. It's open. Oh, to the yeah. Whoa. What is this place? Oh. Pretty wacky. Let's see if they hid something here. No, I don't think they did. Oh my fucking god. Render distance corridor. Here you can see how far we render maps. Go right ahead. Alright, so this is the next stop on our tour. I'm so tempted to open every chest. There's gonna be a secret. I know the world. Oh my god! I found a secret. Pick the menu later to see it. All right, well, I'm opening the rest. I did it. However, they are given a material, which looks just like the open sky. Oh yeah, I can feel that. Holy shit. 15? All? Oh. Yellow, red, green, blue. So that means the code is four, eight, nine, three is the code, I think. And you will end the demo. The demo. Guys, I paid $9 for this. <laughs> oh shit, elevator. Up. Down. 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 Oh, I click A. <laughs> Wait, I want to go up then. Oh, fuck. What horrifying nightmare do we find ourselves in today? Beaver game. <laughs> no, this game is actually pretty good. For one, two, three. Huh? I don't know what any of those mean. What is this maze, man? I like... It's so calming here, though. Green, green, red, red. Is that the code it wants for me? Or is that something different? Whatever, I'll write it down regardless. Wait, why'd the music go bad? Oh shit! Oh my god, it's actual, it's the actual fucking thing. It's the thing. I bitch slapped it back to whatever place it came from. That is not right. It's a note from Cogware. In 1995, there was a mass made of four men. I'm just gonna write 1995 at this point. Fucking <laughs> three men and one woman to be exact. Three to one ratio. Okay, cool. All right, well, I think I've explored everything. Nice. Oh wait, code. Let me type in all the codes I've gathered. Four, eight, eight, nine, eight, 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 oh, well, we lost it all. Put <laughs> down again. Oh. This isn't as cuddly as it was before. Damn it. What is this all about? Up oh, and it's open to browser source. Let me get in a barrel. Let me get in a barrel. All right. What's this about? The sewer map. Why did I stumble O'Hare? I didn't use the last map, to be fair. 
So this is the elevator. Yep. Two branching paths. Now we're going to head left. Two doors? <laughs> Question mark? There's a door on our left now. Nice. Flag. Oh, fuck. If caught, you'll be here. Okay, that's the cell. Forget about the right side, though. Oh my god, I don't know where we are. Another door. Fucking... Oh. <laughs> what is this? Control room. Of course. Yes, the control room. This is the part I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up, I think. Not because I'm not trying to escape the lore. It's just this seems a little egregious. <laughs> I don't want to... I could draw it. I don't want to. Don't be fooled. Yeah, I, I've, I've lost focus from this point. There's a hidden door in here somewhere. But like, how would I have known that? Are we all, are we still on the same floor? Zoom out. Call this place the phone. Can we zoom out? Or not. There's a face. There's another face at that final frame. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck you. This video cuts off before I can see it. He just goes to the middle. I'm not drawing this shit. It's just... Oh my god. This is a map and a half. Um, I'm gonna look up a map. What is this? Is this layer four? Is this what you call layer four? This is exactly what I needed. Pre-internet? Yeah, you just be fucked. You gotta get like a, a book. I think this will work. Fuck, he's already here. Okay, I'm just gonna explore for a little bit. God, this is a fucking labyrinth. Here, I'll take a death here. It's pretty good. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's what happens. And I got a code. One, two, three, four. Holy shit, that's the code, dude. Rambled? Oh, one, two. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Dead guy. Go out here. This is Tamagotchi. What the fuck? Did it say that on the map? There's an invisible wall. Is there multiple invisible wall? Was there always invisible? Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it, take the door. I can take the boat. Green, blue, green, pink. Hey, rip and rip. I wanna go see what this does. Oh, lore. Um, CF Devlog Panic. Toss the fucking script. It's done. It's over. That went horribly. I can't even lie to myself on this recording. It went horribly. All that work, all for nothing. It's only a matter of time till I get their two week notices on my desk. My fire alarm went off. My fire alarm just went off. And now it's off. Dime Zero TTV's no, done no, it's their daily call check in. Pog Champion. My fire alarm's on. Oh shit, I did that. Okay, I gotta go fix this. Yeah, I gotta go fix this. I I'm gonna go save my dog. I'll be right back.
Okay, so we uh, called the firefighters. So I could just game here, I guess, until they get here. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> My mom was cooking sausage and she just forgot about it. Literally all the smoke. I opened the door and just a oh, huge whiff of smoke. It was it's smoky upstairs. All right, well, <laughs> good to go, I guess. Um, funny as fuck. Okay, let's let's get back into the gaming. Bad barrel. And we got this video. Huh? Two thirty-eight. Brother, I am so confused. Okay. Um. Let me look in the description. Damn it. Maybe it's that? Say the barrel? Yeah, maybe I go in the barrel. But like, I see this like white little switch. Maybe I just flip the switches in order of the time. Where's this third one? Oh, it's right there. Wait, is there only three? It's one here, one there, and then one there. Okay, I'll just flip them in order of the time. Oh, wait, that's probably where the batteries are. Or maybe... Oh, wait, no. No, I clicked the switch, and then that becomes one of three. Okay, I know what to do. Fuck, what does it look like again? Wait, it should be here. Wait, it's literally here. Wait. Is it here? Do I click X or something? Oh! Hold up. It's invisible? Oh, wait, I can't even go back. Shit, well, now I gotta find the other one. <laughs> I heard the boop. Yeah, dude, it's literally like right there. That's where I... That's where I am, and I clicked it, and it went boop. So I guess it's invisible buttons. Bucket door. Door bucket. This is it. Got it. Next. Okay, I have to find two barrels in a walkway and hope to God I'm in the right spot. I only knew that because I looked at the map. Just keeping it real. It's here. Got it. Oh, video. Hydrate up, bitch. Hydrating? If you put anything in the description. Check the control move for a massive fucking surprise. <laughs> All right. Where's the control room? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, But now I do because I'm looking at the map on my second screen. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> Nope, not here, not here, not here, nope, 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 not here, not here, idiot, fuck you, bitch, 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 not in this one, not in this barrel. There's two of them! And he's going back, Oh. What would even be the play here? Are you, gamer? I'm suffering. But then he's just, I still have to take that walkway. Use the door. Use the door. The door. The door. No, 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 no. It's a beaver, not a bear. Okay, I, I guess the play here would be just jump out the barrel, then dip and hope that guy just left. Because he's just camping. Oh, get fucked. Didn't even see my ass wave. Way. I think this is it. I think this is the door I have to go through. Please tell me it is. You've got to be fucking me! His wall rusty is posted. He is just posted there. Well, time to play the waiting game. 
It's probably best if I aggro him and then go for the barrel. See what happens. He's still posted. Oh, he finally moved. Fucking what a thrill. Okay, so bitch, 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 bitch. Let me in, give me in, me in, you bitch. You idiot! How'd you know there? I was in a barrel. You know I'm in this one? Ah, you idiot. Oh, you're so dumb. Oh my god, you stupid idiot. Fucking idiot. No, Sean, you were in the door! You were in the door! Go the other way. Other way. There's two. There's fucking two. There's two. It's not fair. It's not fair. Can we agree that this is awful? And this is just bad game design? Like, I'm actually... It was so good up until this point. Wait. Oh my god. Now I can finally play the game. Alright, it's a color-coded puzzle. He's here. He's here. Blue, green, green, red, blue. That's it. They're actually camping me. Yeah, this is the worst thing ever. Maybe they can hear my voice in the, the mic. No, they can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. He spawned in. At this point, just kill me. Fucking finally. Get me out of this hell. Okay, I, I just have to get to the elevator. I just think it's 3893. And if it's not, then I'm looking it up. Let me leave. Let me leave. Fuck you. Middle finger. Nah. Do we have a code to put in anywhere? Wait, so what did I do that for? <laughs> No hand-holding anymore, I guess. Fucking hell. I think this is the part where I need a guide. I am lost. 3893. 3, 8, 9, 3. Fuck. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fuck. 4, 1, 3, 2. Fuck. Oh, then I'm lost. There's someone here. Bitch, 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 bitch. 8891. If that's the code, I'll just take it. Oh, damn it. That's right now. Let's try it. Bring on a thief. Bring on a thief. Yeah, I'm awesome. Bring on a thief. Yeah, it's guide time. We went really far without it. Door code is 1917. Let's see if I could just piggyback off this. It's honestly such a good game. I I just got stuck, so I had to look it up. But up until this point, I haven't really been stuck. What is this about? Fish. Nineteen sixty. The fish location in the description. Okay, there's a location right there. Who's the bitch? Who's the bitch? Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Got it. What did that open? The code in the other room. Oh wait, here's a code. There's a code right here. 1960. Oh, you can't even put zero. Um, 0312. Yeah, you can't even put zeros, so it can't be 1960. Maybe something got published March 12th, 1960. I think it's literally the fucking fish. Red fish, blue fish. How does the book go? Is this the code? One green... One, three, eight, three. 
If this is the code, I'm going to lose my shit. No. Maybe it's just 9983. 9983. Fuck. Where's Bad Kitty? Where's Bad Kitty? Fuck. I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. I wasn't looking. I'm not here. 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 Later, bitch. One, two, fish two, redfish eight, bluefish three. Yeah, it could just be one, three, eight, one, two, three, eight, one, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. Oh my god. Yeah, you weren't kidding about the hole. All right, guys, don't make fun of her or him. Oh my god. That was it. A note from Cogware. Where this tunnel leads, you'll know it well. Just promise me you're gonna stay calm. If you go through it, you can open the gate. The label says, Chufuk. Okay, I'll translate this. Oh, it's Devlog. Shit. They're coming. Fuck, he's coming. Fuck, 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 fuck. You never have time alone. Clean up on aisle my pants. Am I right or am I right? This still triggered, right? Wait, what the fuck is that up? This is a statue. I, I might as well. Talk about that one rabbit a lot. Stubbler, I think Liz called him. Yeah, he, he's funny. I think the funniest part is his missing arm. I managed to sneak in a jab towards Mark's wife and having her arm amputated. She was fresh on my mind when I was suggesting the idea to Liz. And hey, her making her a little guy a hopeless romantic as well. <laughs> It lines up pretty damn well with how Mark is, doesn't it? Funny, funny character. You know, that does remind me, they've got another rabbit, don't they? That'd be a fun thing to put in, too. You love to hear it. I recognize this place. Oh shit, I do. Just keep going. Okay. It's safe in here. God, I hope you're right. It feels safe. The label says, Bujaba Jaba Jaba. Shins. Yeah, it's affirmations too. I just looked at the numbers. <laughs> Our entire brand's been going down the drain. The stocks, I've never seen stocks get this fucking low. And we're still bringing people on. We're still expanding. Yeah, at this point, what the fuck's a layoff gonna do? It'll sink us further into the shit. I, I think the best option we've got, I, I've been... Uh, it's been going in my head for like the past five fucking hours now. The best option we got is to cut the game studio we've hired. Combined. Yeah, I think we did already hear this, Caddy. Mirror get. Oh, hi, guys. What oh, shit. Wait, what just happened? What's going on? Oh, wait, this is open now. present to you Brazil oh shit oh oh
it's you. I thought I was the only one rotting down here. <laughs> so much has happened. So much. They call beyond your understanding. They call out to me. All four of them. I hear their voices skittering around in the inside of my wooden shell. Even down to the pulsating mass laying beneath it. I need you to find me. It won't be easy to catch. You'll need to prove to me that you want what I have. If you do as I ask, you'll know everything. Every single detail of what happened. Why you are who you are. What do you say, Fred? Let's give it a go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> In weirdo land now. X. Okay, looks like I started the mini game or whatever. I, I guess I'm looking for statues or something. Probably while avoiding the spooky monsters. is that We're getting so lucky. Okay, I think you could hear me when I drop the statue. I guess I could just run. Oh, speaking of bones, I've been thrown one. Yeah, I think I have to run away when I pop a statue because they go straight to that location, it seems like. Take a look at the little mess you've made. Um. Connor, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been playing this for about two hours now, and I'm not seeing the widespread appeal you've been promising us. It's, well, to be honest with you, it's clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. The characters who you promised would have depth and life. They are just flat. I thought that's the entire point of a 3D game. What? You oversold it, Connor. That's what I'm trying to say. My company is meant to be forging new frontiers. And to be frank, after what happened at Studio Grounds, I really don't think this is going to be anything. It's not going to be anything in the same tier as our movies, our park, anything. 
And I really hate to say this, because I know for a fact you and your team put a lot of work into this game, but I just... I just don't know if it's worth continuing to sink money into. Sink money into... Mark, this is our job. You've had us working on this for two years, and now suddenly it's an issue? Yes, it's been two years. And in those two years, you've only sat me down now and showed me the actual fucking game. So, what can we do to fix it? No, Liz. This isn't a fix-the-game issue. It's a fix-your-perspective issue, Mark. You are sitting in front of some of the greatest technology of the decade, and you're gonna brush it off? Connor, I'm not brushing anything off. I'm just trying to understand where this... I'm sorry to say, Mark, but it's true. It's not that we've made a bad game. We've all exceeded the industry standard. What we're having a hard time passing is your thick skull and- Connor! Stop! Look, I'm so sorry about him. He's just under a lot of- Is it Harley? Is it not worth it anymore because you're trying to treat her instead? What? Yeah, I said it. What are you bringing her into this for? Because I bet that's what you're gonna do. You can't keep funding our two years worth of work. Gotta buy her a fancy casket. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mark! Look, I... I'm really sorry. Now, uh, Liz, you're fine, okay? But I want you to know that we are done, professionally. All right? I don't want to work with any of you guys again. Quite frankly, I don't want to see you guys touch our property. Any of that. Am I clear? Y yes Mark. You can go now. No. No. Because first of all, I want our equipment back. You can go now! You can go! Leave! Take a step closer. Lay a fucking hand on me. You lay one hand on me, I'm gonna make sure you stay in jail for a real long fucking time. Huh? Who are they gonna believe? You? You are nothing. I will be taking my leave now. Good luck in your future endeavors. I expect the office to be cleared by next week. Do not contact me again. day. Use some fresh air. Okay. Let's go get that fresh air, pal. Please just do it. You want me to Geronimo right here? Cannonball? Okay, pal. Here I come. Cannonball! Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Oh my god, widescreen for the first time.
Okay, I have my own theories as to what's going on. I just want to say this right now. I don't... I think this is it. <laughs> I'm being serious. I think this is it. I think this is top of the line when it comes to any of these, like, fucking horror ARGs. I think that was the end. Okay. My theory. This is my theory. So. Us. Playing this game. There was two versions of this game, right? There was the 2023 and the 1997. I'm mostly going to focus on the 1997 version. Because the 2023 is just a good prelude. Before. What I'm really thinking is happening here is that. This is a game made by a dev studio. And that company is like. Fucking something studios. We'll just call them something studios. Mark. A character we're pretty well known with. Is the CEO of this company or whatever and i'm guessing they have a game studio department and this is the game studio that's making this game that we just played so there's there's a couple key names there's mark ceo connor he's the the head developer he's like the guy who owns the game studio like he's the guy for the game studio and then there's liz i think and liz is just the a girl that works there as well from what i can piece together mark from like I, I mean a lot of the war was in like layer three right mark had to do budget cuts and this game's been in development for two years and he basically said you know what fuck it fuck the game studio i'm just gonna get rid of it regardless he play tested it gets into an argument with connor who's the head of the the, the studio and then connor goes through like this fucking baby rage he's mad because he knows that you know they're about to get the pug pulled then what do you know once you know that little argument happens and they're like yo get, get the fuck out of my game studio says mark the ceo connor takes some of the equipment and finishes the game himself at his own house he finishes the game and he adds all this extra shit that we just went through to expose the company and i'll get into that exposed part of the company i'm still trying to piece this together in my head i think um after the game goes on shelves, it's on for two weeks, and then out of nowhere, people realize this is a really fucked up game, and they start finding the secret shit, and then it gets pulled off the shelves. But at that point, it's already revealed. And what's revealed is that the company that Mark owns, and we know this because Connor took a flash drive that he did, it wasn't his, he took the wrong flash drive, and that flash drive contained the murders from the company. I think this is like a theme park company, so pretend it's like Disneyland. And this is the owner of Disneyland, Mark. And Connor's like the game dev studio head of the Disneyland. We'll, we'll use that as an assumption. And then also C Connor kills himself. Womp womp. Or Connor. Uh, <laughs> Connor kills himself after. Big plot detail there. Okay. What Disneyland was hiding is that Mark was hiding that they kill people. They murder people. They hide information. And that's what we saw with the three murders, right? That's where we saw at the start of the game. That's where the murders were taking place. We saw the fucking goose get his head bashed in. We saw the walrus just get hit. And then there was another person who got like drowned or something. And the beaver did all the kills. And whoever's in the beaver costume, I don't know. Maybe it's Nathan. I don't even know who Nathan is. But then let's assume that the dead people are now they you know connor made it so the dead people the people that disneyland was trying to keep hidden are now the people he put into the game so he's trying to expose that you know the disneyland killed people and mark is hiding that information and then hopefully you know get mark fired or whatever um i think that's what i all i pieced together i don't understand the beaver shit I don't know what's his problem. Maybe he's like a hitman or something. I don't know why he's the one that kills people. Because clearly he kills the people in the beaver suit. Because we saw that a lot. But I still don't get it. I still don't get why. I don't know what that motivation is. TLDR. Disneyland owner. Poor. Fire game studio. Video game designer finished game, but exposed secrets of Disneyland. Game goes out on shelves. Game comes back two weeks later because it's revealed all this 
fucked up shit. Game dev studio guy dies. He kills himself. And also, there was murders that are taking place. Blah, blah, blah. That's what he's exposing. Okay, thoughts on the game in general? I think it's top of the line when it comes to a horror experience. I, I think there's so much shit I still have yet to found. Like, look, let's look at the achievements, for instance. Yeah, I still have five more achievements. So maybe we find those. Maybe we we'll look up a guide. I'm sure there's so many secrets I missed. So, so, so many. Because it's just that type of game. This is the best puzzles I've ever played also. These puzzles were insanely good. I think this game would be best played if you had nothing. <laughs> you had literally nothing. It's so good. Oh my God. And this it's actually scary too. They play the fucking weird, you know, mascot character horror thing, but they actually play it so that's scary. And, and it's not like Poppy's Playtime or Five Nights at Freddy's where it's just cringe and like tries to be scary. But this is actually like scary. I, I don't know. This was all made by one person, by the way. I think it's one of the best horror games I've played. Maybe one of the best games I played in general this year. I don't know. This was crazy good. I really enjoyed it. Of course, I had to like, I was stuck on some parts, but I think that's the nature of the game. You kind of just get stuck sometimes and you have to look things up. But if you didn't look it up, I mean, it'll feel much more satisfying, I'm sure, when you figure it out.